The very first question is, what is particle physics? The particle physics is a branch of physics that studies the, the fundamental particles and forces of, of universe at, at the smallest scale. It aims to understand the building blocks of matter and the interaction between them. The next important question is, what are elementary particles? Elementary particles are, are the particles that are not known to have substructures. They are considered as the fundamental building blocks of ma matter. Uh, for example, electrons, which are negatively charged, are, are, are elementary particles. The next important question is, what are the four fundamental forces of nature? I mean, uh, the, the four fundamental forces uh, are the gravitational force, Earth has a gravitational pull, electromagnetic force, uh, the weak nuclear force like beta decay uh, in, in radioactive uh, materials, uh, and, uh, and, the, and, and then there is nuclear force, uh, the force that's there between nucleons in the nucleus. Now, what is the standard model of particle physics? The, the standard model of particle physics, it, it's a theoretical framework that describes the electromagnetic force, for example, light and electricity. The weak nuclear force, for example, responsible for nuclear decay. And the strong nuclear force holding quarks together in, in protons and, and neutrons. It also includes the particles like electrons and quarks. Now, what are quarks and how many types exist. Quarks are elementary particles uh, that combine to form protons and neutrons. There are six types of uh, or, or flavors of quark, up, down, strange, charm, top and bottom. For example, the proton is made up of two up quarks and one down quark. Now, what is the Higgs boson? The Higgs boson is an elementary particle associated with Higgs field. It gives mass to other particles. Its discovery at the Large Hadron Collider in 2012 confirmed the existence of this particle. Now, what is this LHC, Large Hadron Collider? The Large Hadron Collider is the world's largest and most powerful accelerator located at CERN in Switzerland. It accelerates particles such as protons to nearly the speed of light and then collides them. For example, the discovery of uh, Higgs boson was made possible at, at this uh, LHC. Now, what is antimatter? Now, antimatter is, is composed of antiparticles with opposite charges. To, to the regular particles. When matter and antimatter collide, they annihilate, releasing energy. For example, positron uh, is an antimatter, its counterpart is an electron. So you can get photons out of them. Now, what is dark matter and why is it important in particle physics? Dark matter is a mysterious invisible substance that does not interact with light or ordinary matter, but has gravitational effects. It's important in particle physics because it makes up nearly 27% of universe, uh, universe's mass, yet its nature is, is, it remains unknown. Now, what is dark energy? Dark energy is another uh, mysterious uh, uh, component of universe that's causing its, its accelerated expansion. It's different from dark matter and is responsible for universe's overall expansion. It is the negative energy, right? Now, what is a particle accelerator and how does it work? A very basic question. A particle accelerator is a device that accelerates charged particles using electric and, and magnetic fields. For example, LHC accelerator, protons to high energies and, and collides them, allowing scientists to study the, the resulting particles and interactions uh, that are formed. Now, what is the role of symmetry in, in, in particle physics? Uh, symmetry principles such as gag symmetry play a crucial role in, in the formulation uh, of a standard model. For instance, electromagnetic forces exhibit symmetry and understanding these symmetries uh, certainly help and explain uh, as the fundamental forces. 
Now, what is strong nuclear force and what particles does it act on? Okay, so to answer this question, the, the nuclear uh, force binds quarks together to form protons and neutrons. It also holds protons and neutrons together in atomic nucleus. For example, this force is uh, what keeps the protons and neutrons tightly packed uh, in the nucleus of an atom. Now, what is the weak nuclear force? And, and, and how does it differ from the electromagnetic force? To answer this question, the weak force is, is responsible for processes like beta decay, where a neutron transforms into a proton, an electron and a neutrino. Unlike the electromagnetic force, it is a short-ranged uh, one and violates parity and, and charge parity and, and symmetry. Now, what are neutrinos? And why are they challenging to detect, right? Very important question. Neutrinos are nearly massless, electrically neutral particles that interact very weakly with the matter. For example, neutrinos are produced in nuclear reactions uh, in the sun, but passes through the earth without significant interaction, making their detection challenging, most challenging. What is supersymmetry? And why is it uh, uh, talking about this su su supersymmetry? This supersymmetry proposes a new symmetry between fermions, matter particles, and bosons, force carrying particles. Uh, for example, it predicts the existence of supersymmetric patterns for known particles like selectron, uh, gluon, uh, which may explain some uh, limitations of the standard model. Now the next question is, what is the role of particle physics in, in cosmology, right? So this particle physics uh, provides uh, insight into the early universe uh, and the behavior of the matter and energy at extremely high temperature and density. For example, it helps explain the abundance of elements shortly after the Big Bang and then the evolution of this universe evolution of this cosmos. Now, what is the hierarchy problem in particle physics? The hierarchy problem refers to the large disparity between the energy scales at which the weak nuclear force and, and gravity operates. For example, gravity is extremely weak compared to other forces and reconciling these scales is a scale in, in particle physics. Now, what is a hadron and how does it differ from, from, from lepton? To answer this question, hadrons are the composite particles made up of quarks held together by the strong nuclear force. For example, protons and neutrons are hadrons. Leptons on the other side are elementary particles and, and, and they fall in the category of electrons uh, and they do not participate in strong forces. Now, now what are some unresolved questions in particle physics. Uh, so several mysteries remain in particle physics including the, the nature of dark matter. For example, identifying its particles, the unification of, uh, of fundamental forces, for example theory of everything, the origin of particle masses, for example through the Higgs mechanism, and the existence of additional particles beyond standard model, for example, supersymmetric particles among others. Now, these are the, the important questions along with, uh, 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 they're out there open in the field of particle physics. And, 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 uh, and, it's, uh, the, the, and, 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 and to, to move on, this, this particle physics continues to push uh, the boundaries of our knowledge. Uh, and, 